Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video and the topic today has been one that was highly requested, which is putting up against the Exynos processor up to the Qualcomm Snapdragon. So this right over here is the Exynos processor. This is the Galaxy S8 Plus. And this one has the graphics card of the Mali G71. And then right over here for the Qualcomm Snapdragon, it will have the graphics card of the Adreno 540. Now you will see that the display pixels per square inch is a little different. And that's only because this one right over here is a larger screen. So this is the S8 Plus. And this one right over here is the normal Galaxy S8. So this one right here is the global unlocked version and this one is the Galaxy S8 on Sprint. So the two different tests that I will, I will run today will be Geekbench 4 as well as Antutu. So let's actually head over into the Geekbench 4 and let's go for the CPU test. Now this one right here will run for a few minutes but what I will do is actually pause it and then regain it once it's finished. So here is the end result. So when you have the Exynos processor over here versus the Qualcomm Snapdragon, you'll see that the single core was 2110 versus 1866. And then here is the multi-core. Now the multi-core, you're not gonna see a huge difference. So this is where if you will be running a whole bunch of different apps at the exact same time. And so when you pin it up against the other devices, this one right over here just barely knocks out the Galaxy S7 and the Note 7, the S7 Edge and then so on and so forth. And you can see right over here that there is a pretty much big difference because you can see that some of these numbers right here are pretty similar. And then with multi-core, you can see that with this one right over here, the Qualcomm Snapdragon, this one barely outdid uh, this little Exynos processor. And so both of these two phones here are more powerful than the other previous devices, the Note 7, S7, S7 Edge, and then so on and so forth. So let's head over into the Antutu benchmark for the second test. Now the one right over here, the Galaxy S8 Plus, which is running on the Exynos processor, uh, this one is a, it's a pretty cool test. It runs with 2D and 3D and a whole bunch of graphics, a whole bunch of other cool things. So this one does have the Mali, which this one over here has the Adreno for the graphics card. So I'm gonna go over here and test it again, and then let's go over here to the Galaxy S8, and let's see what the difference is. So here's the end result for the Exynos with the Mali graphics card versus the Snapdragon for the Adreno. This one right over here for your 3D graphics, both scored a high number. This one just outbid it or outdid it just a little bit. Um, but both of these here will do a fantastic job if you're to run into 3D graphics. And then for the UX, um, the one on the left-hand side, again, barely just beat it out. And you can see some of the different scores. So these ones, you're not going to see a huge difference, you know, between the two. And then for the CPU, you can see all the different uh, numbers for the mathematics, uh, the common use, as well as the multi-core. So both of these here are registered as high end. And then also for the RAM, both of these scored a pretty similar number with this one actually just outdoing it barely. Hey, if you guys found this video to be helpful, make sure you guys do a good turn daily and pay it forward. And also hit on the subscribe button on the very bottom left hand side. And then on the very bottom right hand side, you guys will be able to check out the very next video. And right above that is the playlist for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. See you guys later.